What's going on everybody? Travis with REC Garage. Um, I apologize in advance for this video. It's kind of just everywhere. Um, I'm kind of merging from working on um, stock repairs to custom stuff and I'm kind of, I kind of got to get in the right mindset. So I was kind of all over the place. I started um, repairing the trunk lid and as you can see, I'm putting the runner boards on and put the fenders and the whole front end on. Um, I end up not finishing repairing the trunk, but I split the skins and stuff. You'll probably see that later on. But this video is kind of all over the place. I know it's kind of not um, abnormal for me because I'm a scatterbrain and I jump all the time. So just uh, preparing you here. It might not be cohesive, but this is uh, everything I did from the past uh, few days. Alright, so this is kind of going to be a test, uh, just to see what headlights look like in different places. Because, uh, you know, he's not sure really of what headlights he wants to go with. Um, like, he's got some 40 headlights and uh, 40 Chevy taillight, I mean, 40 Chevy headlight buckets and stuff uh, he wants to do here. They kind of mold in. Um, I don't know. I, I just want to see. This might look terrible. It might look great. I don't know. What like Model A taillights, uh, headlights. There. There. Here. Oh. I want to do it in a way where like I can see. This is where they normally go. I think that looks weird, but it might look cool. I can't really tell yet. Here, here. I'm thinking close for some reason. Like, 
Is that wacky? I don't know. Ugh. Guess I'll tell when I look at the film. All right, so just, uh, I'm doing some preliminary cuts on the hood just so this lays back some more. Um, you know, I, I don't think I've explained anything I'm doing. So, um, all right, he's putting this little salad grill in here. I'm putting this little salad grill in here for him. Um, and I'm just figuring out positions. He definitely wants it um, incorporated into the hood a little bit. Um, I think I want to incorporate it just up until this line so this line's going to come and meet with this hood line here um, i think that's enough in the hood that it's not going to look uh, too weird and right now it gives a nice nice raked uh, look to that grill kind of reminiscent of the uh, 36 grill actually it's kind of got the same maybe a little more aggressive angle to it uh, but not by much because if you go too far back it won't flow correctly into the, the nose of the hood uh, and it'll really just look weird um, so I need to actually shape the front of this hood so it matches up with this here so I'll probably uh, what will I do here I'll stretch this to kind of bring it up so close up this gap on each side there um, and then it'll kind of flow nicely it does have kind of a a decent flow here I might have to stretch this uh, this flange down here a little bit so it opens up a tad um, just to kind of match everything I'm not gonna I don't want this grill to look like it's just placed here you know I kind of want to make it look like it's meant for this car so got a little bit of work to do so I'm not even sure I don't know I should I should do this I guess I'm trying to think if it's the right time to do this it's definitely it's an okay time to mock it up because I'm not fully welding anything in uh, but on the other hand the cowl here isn't bolted on and I don't want to bolt it on and drill the holes for these supports until the doors get back from blasting and I gap the door and put this back half where everything wants to be then I can really start doing things on the fenders uh, but right now you see like I got a gap down here and it tightens up as it comes here um, I need to lift all this uh, but I'm not sure if the cowl needs to go forward or backwards or what that needs to do uh, I, th I think everything is lining up very well um, under the circumstances so I'm really not mad at anything um, I'm kind of really glad everything's working out as well as it is um, just I really just want to get these doors back you saw me put on the running boards um, we are hourglassing them. I have marks here from when Dano was here and we were just kind of like guessing kind of what we were doing. 
Um, and what I think we're actually going to do is see this shape here, how it comes to a point. I think we're going to follow this, kind of bring the fender in. Kind of like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we're doing. Bringing the fender in just at the end, bringing the runner board all the way to here. Um, then we're going to follow the shape, oh, 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 the shape of the, the body and then come out right at the end here. So it's just going to be a nice small running board here. It might even be a little bit bigger. We might come over here and kind of go like this. Kind of follow that. Ooh. Just so we got a little, little extra. I think this is too small. So think maybe around here. And then kick it back out to match the fender. I'll have to, uh, you know, when the door's back on, I can kind of get a, a real gauge of what I want to do. Maybe I'll acetone that off and uh, just do one line where I think I want to do it. Because I think this is as far out as I want to go, and that's probably too skinny. Yeah, um, I'll have to look at some reference pictures he gave me, but what I uh, kind of going to go on what I think also, what I think looks good, and obviously going to double check with him, but I think it's going to be kind of cool. Like bring it in and follow the curve of the body. I think it'll look nice.
All right, so here's what I'm trying to do. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can show you. One-handed. This is very dangerous. Very expensive grill. Okay, so what we got going on here? There's a gap here, and I want to stretch this edge. I tried with a hammer and dolly, and it was just an awkward angle. Um, and taking this hood on and off is a real pain in the butt. So I don't want to keep doing that. Um, so to stretch this, I'm going to use my shrinker stretcher, hopefully. Well, just mainly the stretcher. Um, but I can't exactly get it in here the way it is. I can't pick the car up and move the car. So... I'm making this stretcher uh, handheld. So I'm using the mounting threads on the bottom to add another handle. So the handle will come out the top, that'll actuate it, and I'll have this handle coming off the bottom. So I can hold the bottom, I can hold the thing, and then actuate it uh, kind of like a big scissor but it's gonna stretch and or shrink the metal because I can just put this on my shrinker and do the same thing. So, right now I got the welder set up. I'm going to tack and weld this guy right to there. So I'll have my handle on my stretcher. So I can get into odd places and do it by hand. Um, you know, just another Quick little tip, if you guys want to have something you need to stretch on a car like that or shrink, um, just make this simple little handle and it should should work fine. So we'll, uh, we'll get this welded up and then we'll test it and see if this actually works. All right, so it's probably not going to be the easiest thing to use in the world, but hopefully. Aha, look at that. Let's see. Definitely did something. I saw it moving. Let's get the grill on here. Yeah, okay. So, now I just need to do more of it, so I need to probably flip the hood over more somehow. All right, well, at least it works. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm doing now is adjusting this flange. I already adjusted this one on this side. And what I'm doing is I'm taking one of my radius gauges that I found fit the hood to the grill nicely. And it's pretty close already. So you see how this light behind the, uh, just the tip area and on this one, 
it's nice it touches all the way around this is the one I already stretched and I couldn't use my newly my new invention on this one it didn't uh, it didn't fit in here with this curve with tight curve I couldn't get it in there so what I had to do was stretch it the old-fashioned way so this here see how this hammer has a curve to it it acts just like this die here which is a reverse not a reverse it's a linear stretch die so this is a linear stretch hammer um, so this is the way they used to stretch flanges um, it's still do now obviously in, tight, in certain scenarios or if you don't have the fancy tools you use this uh, you just buck the back like usual and when you hit it with this it, it just hits on the center there and such a small contact stretches that piece and stretches the flange right out so it it takes a little bit and you got to kind of hammer on it for a little bit but um, it stretches it out nicely and evenly and you can kind of fine-tune edges of panels with that um, so I just got to do the same thing on this side match it to the same contour radius gauge my 45 here so I'll match nice here I just got to redo this I see how it teeters it's kind of hard to see with the tan background but you get the gist so the only thing I got to do is take out this doubler piece that somebody put in here uh, wasn't on the other side so you know I take that out so it's gonna be easier for me to stretch it out because with that in there this this chunk right here will not stretch or it'll just take forever because I got to stretch like a I don't know, double thickness so let me get that out of there then I'll stretch it and what I'm doing here obviously you know I'm trying to get the grill to fit the hood um, but instead of just cutting the whole nose off the hood and remaking a new piece I want to use the original hood and just stretch it and tweak it to fit um, it there's not going to be any weld seams like through the middle of the nose I've seen these grills put on and I've seen a bunch of custom work I'm not knocking anybody but when you take the whole nose off and recreate it most of the time you see the weld seams yeah I know it gets Bondo on top of it and stuff but I don't know it, it just doesn't look professional and I think with just material removal and no material addition um, it, besides I'm gonna add a flange to the uh, to this cut edge here uh, but other than that I don't think I'm gonna add any more material um, I just think it's a better way and I honestly I think it's gonna be faster in the long run um, and then I just have to make the side panels of where it's empty with a grills missing. Um, a few flanges on each side. Those should be simple. I don't know, probably not going to be, but. And then I think, pretty sure, we're just shaving these and welding this. I'm not going to just weld the crack. I'm, I'm going to cut this out. Uh, so it's smooth, there's no, I'm probably going to cut large, largely around it, so there's no uh, lip at all, and it's, it's nice and smooth. I'll make a panel that fits in here. It's going to be a reverse, uh, because it comes down and up and in, it's, I don't know, relatively flat. It's going to be a little tricky, but I'm going to make that panel that fits right on there. Uh, scribe around it, cut the fender in this little piece, weld it to it, and then these will become one. Um, like a 35 fender. It's just with customs like this, kind of, they like the smooth look, and I, it, it's understandable. But I want to see, 
I want to try to make everything look like it was supposed to be that way. Not like you just slap the grill on there or welded that closed. You know, I don't know. Try to make it look nice, you know? I don't think that's too much to ask. All right, so I got it the way I want the hood for now. See how it flows real nicely right into the grill. And the grill sweeps right into the hood. I'm really liking the way this is looking. Um, I'm not gonna fine tune and tweak this until I build the sides uh, because that's really gonna 
you know, define this. Well, what am I trying to say? When I build the sides, I'll be able to bolt in the grill. That's what I'm trying to say. So I need to make these triangle pieces with flanges pretty much all the way around um, so I can bolt the triangle piece in and then bolt this grill to those triangle pieces. Um, so it's going to be kind of challenging, but we're just going to roll with it and see how it goes. I'm liking everything so far. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to lean the grill a little more uh, just so I can see so this area here is kind of tricking tricky tricky I'll show you on the other side sounds in my face okay so this side here um, comes down almost a point and then kind of opens up again because the grill is pretty tall and these are uh, pop metal grills so you can't cut them and weld them together uh, just just not gonna work so got to use the whole thing and I think what I'm gonna do is probably end up modifying these these halves before I weld everything together um, kind of have the bottom come out down here and meet up with the bottom here um, Just because, you know, I'm not going to have this open, just build these pieces and then have nothing down here. Um, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. I'm not sure how I'm going to connect these together. Because uh, I feel like this piece should be separate from the grill and from this. So I'm kind of unsure how I want to do that right now. Um, but at least I can start kind of making at least one of these and uh, see how, see where that gets me. Um, so yeah, let me uh, start making this piece because I'm done with this for now. I'm going to end up making uh, probably a filler piece here out of stainless. And I'll, I'll obviously copy the shape of this. And it's because it's going to have the same mounting points. Then come down and obviously stop here, but have a peak down the center to go into the peak that's in this trim piece. I don't know if you can see it. It's a slight peak. Um, but it's going to get bigger and more pronounced as it gets to the end uh, to match up with the angle here. So it should look pretty good. All right, uh, back in the shop today, last day of the video. Um, I've been jumping around a lot. I worked on the trunk, uh, I'm working on the hood, now I'm working on the grill. Um, and we've kind of changed the placement of the grill, so now I need to move, uh, I need to trim some more of the hood, but I'm not gonna do that yet until um, I ma start making the sides, actually until I make the sides and bolt it on. Um, so we kind of angled it more so that these angles are the same. It's 15 degrees all the way. So everything is, you know, symmetrical. Nothing looks weird. Uh, but it does stick it out quite a bit on the bottom. So what I'm gonna have to do here um, is pretty much restyle this piece here. Um, so I'm gonna take away this lip here because now I'm not gonna have one, two, three pieces here. Um, I'm only gonna do two. And we were going to fill this in, weld this seam up, make it one piece like a 35. 
Um, we've changed our minds because it'll pretty much turn the whole nose into one piece and we definitely don't want that. So, what I'm gonna do here now, um, fender's gonna stay where it is, original, factory, everything. This piece is going to go from here all the way up, meet up, excuse me, with the grill, the hood, fill in this piece, and this curve is gonna get a little more, but it's gonna get, actually it's gonna curve, because it's not really, it's kind of flat. This is where it curves, so it's gonna curve in and curve back out to meet up with the bottom of the grill. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna look pretty good. I'm not sure, I've seen people do a little chin underneath here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. I might have to. I don't know, I might just have it come to this corner about here and just fade off. And then the grill is down here and then it kind of continues back with the panel. Um, I think it would just add too much to the bottom of the car to add a little chin down there and it might look weird. I know 36s don't have anything down there. It's just the grill ends and that's the bottom of the car. So I think I might take that same approach with this. or have the panel underneath it, but not show. Just be kind of flush with the bottom here. Um, I gotta think about it, and while I'm, while I'm doing it, I can change things and add things to it, so. It's gonna be a funky one. All right, so I made this little template. Yes, I can use my contour gauges or my sweeps, but they're a little big, and this right here changes a little bit. So I made a custom sweep or contour gauge to just fit uh, top of the hood right here and flip it over, and you already know. It's the same thing on this side. So, <coughs> so. I am going to take this piece here that I cut out. It's kind of big. And I already broke the top edge here. That'll go there. So I'm just going to hit it with the shrinker, 
until I have this radius there to it, or the contour, or the sweep, whatever you want to call it. Um, just going to get that shape into there, and then I can work on probably doing the flange on the other side. And then, you know, this flange, then the bottom flange, bunch of flanges. I didn't do a flange on this or this because it is going to sit on the metal here and wrap around and kind of sit on here. And that's going to be the old cut and butt, cut it, butt them together, and that's going to blend that into the piece that I'm making. So yeah, that's going to be, uh, it's going to be what's going on. You know what? Before I do anything, I should probably just trace this shape out onto a piece of metal. So I have the other side before I start shaping this and kind of bending it all over the place. Uh, I know I do have this, and I could do exactly what I did for the other one, but to make it exactly the same, I should just do that. I'll do that off camera, but I just realized that as I was doing it. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get that shape in there and just start slowly forming and bending this piece to fit that grill. So here's where I have to end the video. Um, just getting to the end of my deadline. I'm sorry I didn't get more done, uh, but I have it kind of mocked up here now. There is a kink kind of right here. I'll just have to uh, put a little shape in this here, uh, which is not a problem. I just, I haven't put any shape into this at all other than the flanges actually just this flange really um, and I was gonna put a flange on this edge to bolt up to where the uh, you know the little the bosses the threaded bosses on here so I was gonna drill holes and bolt it up but I think I'm gonna have to um, weld on a like a tab a couple tabs where this goes because uh, 
it didn't really it didn't really work i mocked up oops oops i got this piece here i just bent it to see what a flange would look like on it and they stick out pretty i'll show you here so they stick out like I don't know, actually. I might change my mind. I don't know, I have to think about it. Because on the boss here, there'd be a gap. But if, the way I have it now, it slips behind it and it's totally flush. So, I could either have a gap or not. Huh. Okay, this changes everything. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna have to think about it now because I think I might wanna put a flange on there because this now is making it look like it'll work out. When I had it on the over there on the bench, like I put the angle up to it and there was like a huge gap I could see from uh, one to the next. Oh, it is, okay. Um, still might not be bad. Yeah, let me uh, let me think about it. I might have to put a flange on it instead, but that'll be next video. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna put a flange on it because um, it's gonna be better than just tabs on the back. Uh, I was thinking tabs because I didn't think I could do the flange, but somehow when it's on the car. The space doesn't look bad. It looks just like a gap like would normally be around things. So I think it's going to go that way. So. Okay, just kind of changed my mind on it. But regardless, this doesn't really change this one. I can always add a flange to the end of it. And it might be easier than tipping the flange and having to shrink and stretch it around. Um, I don't know. I'll see, I'll see where things go, but right now it's looking good. I really like the look of it. The contours match. Um, the hood, it does, it is pulling in here and I can have to tweak it to pull it out, but the contour that I made here, obviously I showed you match the hood and it matches the part. So I just need to get alignment, which is no biggie. But that's it now. And when you look from this angle, it's done. <laughs> but that's what it's going to look like. Uh, yeah. That's it for this one. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video where hopefully I get both the side panels at least roughed in. Um, hopefully made, bolted on. That would be cool. Uh, so I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, clicking the bell, doing everything you guys do. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.